Hello everyone and welcome to the Golden Spatch of the EMEA Regional Competition. And by the end of these three days, we will have our Regional Champion and we shall know our final nine who go forward to the Tactician's Crown to represent EMEA. And on the left hand side, you're seeing Double actually fight for survival and it's not going to work out. All eyes right now on Gobistor and Jedusor for that title. Jedusor gets eliminated here and Global also out. With that, I believe we do have the confirmation that our winner should be Gobo taking down that EMEA title. Uh, my name is Gobuster. I'm 22 years old. I'm a French competitive TFT player. I do think, like most of TFT players, our main goal is to make Tactician Crown. It's legit my f the first time I win a, a tournament, so I didn't really expect it, to be fair. But uh, yeah, I feel really, really good. Uh. Volta, he who lives at the Tactician's Crown of the Global Championship and gets himself the first place. How are you feeling coming out of day one as number one? Last uh, EMEA Championship, I did call it the curse interview. I mean, I was first as well. And then the second day, I did uh, five bottoms in a row <laughs> and didn't manage to qualify. So this time, that admin told me it's a breath interview. We don't, I don't even have to say it. There's single nationalities. French so CFT be, right? is French CFT and it is what it is. What can I say? <laughs> Voltarius is also a really, really strong player. I knew before the start of the competition that he was going to, to make top 8 minimum. We need something else. So if I could please call in Alan. 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 Uh, happy to have you for the last two casts of the day. Who don't know Double 61? I mean, that will be enough. Probably everyone already don't know. Double 61 for me is by far the best EMEA player. Even though he didn't win final there, there are no much debates on his level. Man, the day two was absolutely a cinema. Jay saw he's tasted the place and the results he was hoping for. You can see it on his face. Jay Dizor, yeah, he, he's kind of like me, but with a little more experience because he managed to qualify back to back to the second round, which is a really, really good performance. Like, I really aim to have the, the same consistency as him. Two players already qualified to the Tacticians Crown. Og and Kubixen are decided players already. Og is by far one of the best players in EMEA. In fact, the only player who was already qualified before Golden Spatula, so I hope he do well too. Of course, Kubixen merely our most recent addition to the roster. For me, by far the best Polish player on the, uh, in the scene. And I was really happy when he managed to to qualify uh, to all by a qualifier point because he's the kind of player who I think is able to, to win well as well. So that was a very long day of games. How are you feeling? I was so stressed for the whole day today and uh, I'm just happy. I, I can't say, say, say more, I think. And yes, yeah, Tinky Abuso is a guy like me uh, rising in set 12. He can maybe be the dark horse of the, the Tuni too. Uh, you know, Elias, a little bit like that that story of the lost sheep that has returned to the herd a couple of sets ago. This guy actually wrote a post saying like, I quit competitive TFT and who's here? I actually met Elias during a uh, Cactus Land in Leipzig. I do think he never made action round before, so I hope we can do this well at uh, the Rage Blade battle in the end is won yet again by Jinx. Darkest only on four points needed a big result in game two. Unfortunately, that's going to be the end of the road for both Stinky and Gobo. Darkest massive win streak. Darkest, I'm really, really happy for him because just after Texan Cup 3, he mentioned that he was planning to re retire, but uh, he shortly managed to qualify uh, with the Texan Cup points. So the fact that he first of all managed to do top 8 is really, really incredible. I see our roster that goes to the Tactician Crown and I feel happy, I feel proud and I feel confident. Just want to, to thank all the people who which is for me. I do really think that we are lucky. We have really, really good human being in TFT EMA scene.